Hi everyone, let's talk about the Euclidean triangle inequality. To talk about this topic, we need a couple of definitions. So first of all, suppose we have a vector v. We're going to have a vector in Euclidean space, n-dimensional Euclidean space. So we have the components a1, a2, all the way through to an. And suppose we have a vector w with components b1, b2, all the way through to bn. So these are both elements of Euclidean n-dimensional space. Now we're going to need, first of all, a norm. So by generalizing the Pythagorean theorem into a definition, we find that we can define the norm of v to be a1 squared plus a2 squared all the way through to a n squared and square root over the whole thing. So you can see how this is reminiscent of the Pythagorean theorem. And secondly, we're going to need what's called the dot or inner product. And this is a binary operation, so we're going to input two vectors into it. So we have v dot w, which is the same as bracket v comma w is equal to a1 b1, so the product of these two numbers plus a2 b2 all the way through to a n b n and there is a link between these two that I'll be mentioning in just a second and before we get into the triangle inequality and how to derive it there's a couple of properties that we're going to need three properties actually the three properties are First of all, commutativity of the inner product. So VW is equal to WV. Secondly, we're going to need distributivity. So U plus V comma W is equal to UW plus VW. And finally, we have the link between the norm and the inner product which states that the norm of v is equal to the square root of the inner product of v comma v and that's going to be our main tool in proving the Euclidean triangle inequality now the first tool we're going to need is what's called the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality And we've proven this for real n tuples in a different video, so you can check that out. But in this language, it's directly equivalent to saying that the norm of v times the norm of w is greater than or equal to the absolute value of v comma w. And you can verify that the ordinary Cauchy-Schwarz inequality tells you exactly this. And now we're going to finally get into the triangle inequality. The triangle inequality is the final product of the following exploration. What we're going to do is that we're going to start off with v plus w, the norm of that squared, okay? So that by the link between the norm and the inner product is equal to v plus w comma v plus w inner product. And by using distributivity, we can split this up into four inner products, which is v, v, plus v, w, plus w, v, plus w, w. And that is, this one is equal to the norm of v squared. This one is equal to the norm of w squared. And by commutativity, these two are the same, so it's just two v w and what we're going to do now is use the absolute value so we get this is less than or equal to v norm squared plus w norm squared plus 2 absolute value of the, the inner product of v and w 
And now we use the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality up from up here. And this is equal to less than or equal to norm of v squared plus norm of w squared plus 2 times the norm of v times the norm of w. And this is, we can use the f factorization now to get that this is the square of norm of v plus norm of w squared. So we've got this up here on the left side and this down here on the right side. So we can conclude that the norm of v plus w is less than or equal to the norm of v plus the norm of w. And you can generalize this to more vectors using induction. So by induction we get that the norm of v1 plus v2 all the way through to vn or let's say m since n is the dimension we need a different variable is less than or equal to the norm of v1 plus the norm of v2 all the way through to the norm of vm so that's the generalized euclidean triangle inequality thank you for watching and i'll see you next time